Hey YouTube, I'm back, and I figured my, I do this one, this R.I.D. review on two figures, who, from the R.I.D. line, crept their ways into the universe era. Today, <laughs> they were known as Prow and... x -Bron. In the universe line, they are known as Ratchet and Inferno. These are the other two brothers of Cyber. So, first we're going to take a look at Cyber, uh, Inferno, aka also known as Prowl. And with mine, sadly, um, there's a problem. Alright, these doors are made of a clear smoked plastic that's just painted over. Once this piece starts to wear and chip and stress, it's going to snap off. And you can see where it uh, basically snapped because it sits on a ball joint. So this area right here just kind of crumpled. So all it does now is just rests on just with that peg and that hole, screw hole, and it just just sits there. The angle it falls off. So for the sake of review, I'm gonna take it off and we're gonna view this side. So he is a Lamborghini uh, police car. And you can only find these in Europe and overseas. Um, he does have an, uh, a speed boost gimmick where you lift the tail fins up and attach thrusters to the side of these, which also double as his guns. So, transform him. First, what we do lift up his hood, take the door, fold it like so. The hood or the engine block, fold that forward. Take the car seats and fold them out. Rotate with the ankle, rotate them again at the thigh. These will form his legs, ankle, and knee rotation. We're going to take this, fold this up way, fold it down so you can see what I'm going to do. You're going to accordion this down, so this is going to fold in like so. When you're doing that, you're going to fold this down, and this is going to fold all over it. You're going to take this piece, fold it down, fold it down, bring these up, split this section in half, and we'll push this into his chest like so. Rotate his arm down. And you can have these anyway. You're supposed to have them up like this so you can see the internals here. Or you can have them like so. Oh yeah. And now you just take this piece and push it up and it closes. Locking all of this piece here in place. Second like transformation. Uh, posability is a swivel at the head, no waist, um, a bow joint at the upper shoulder, and hinge just below that, bow joint here at the elbow as well as a swivel. Uh, this arm has a shield, uh, bow joint at the hip, bow joint at the knee, bow joint, double bow joint at the ankle. So 
though the other piece will kind of would have um, set right here to double as like samurai armor. He's miss his is missing. But I'll give you a detail of the side doors what they look like. Very cool. And that head it's okay, very tough and gruff. But supposedly in the universe line Inferno uh, since he was originally an Autobot's uh, maximal spark, this is what his body was reformatted into. So let's set him off to the side. Here, I'll give you a size comparison next to Wedge. And we'll do a size comparison next to Cyburn. And they're roughly about the same height. Roughly. But in the R.I.D. line, a lot of the Autobots were known to be Kibli. At least his backpack is compact. Aside from this piece hanging off. Uh, next, we'll go on and we will look at Ratchet, aka x -Bron. And he has more value uh, car relations to where you can lift the, the hood up. He's got a nice chrome engine in there. Very cool. Uh, his doors do open. They do. I swear. These are never this hard. There we go. So, doors open. So for the sake of transformation, we're going to go ahead and leave them open. Come under here. Unpeg these pieces. Set them off the side. Unpeg this. Set it off the side. Come to the back. Fold these over. Back to the future on the wheels, and the rubber tires on him are still intact. And we're gonna basically extend his legs like so. Stand him up, split his legs apart. And mine has a very, very loose, loose, loose hips. Next. Go ahead and rotate the torso. Here's where it gets fun. Take the back part of this hood. Rotate this way so the window's facing down. Come to this arm here. Wing it out. Swing around. Fold his head up. Rotate it around. Take his this will be this arm on this source and go from this to this. Unpeg it, hinge it, and we're gonna take this wheel, swing it forward, come under here, and grab his hand. This hand, we can take this axe, just kind of shove in there. And closes the thumb down. So, there's a little hatchet thingy. The other two pieces can peg here on the back of him. And these little ports and those holes right behind his head, if you can see it. And those just kind of peg on. Now this one kind of gets in the way of this door panel a lot. So what I do is I take this one and I just plug it into his fist, which doubles as his gun. His fist is molded in there, so. Um, now my, this one, I have actually had, everything else has always been hand, uh, second hand, hand down. Um, He's very loose in some places. His hips are loose. And this is very loose here as well as his head legs do fall backwards a lot. Now, posability on him. Yep. He has a swivel here, the ball joint. Ball joint. Ball joint neck. Ball joint the hip. Ball joint at the. Or at the. Yeah, once you lock it in place, it's not as loose. 
but the hips here, ball joint, he hinge there at the knee. That is his knee, <laughs> or his secondary knee, and he's at that knee. Uh, no feet articulation. Uh, this one, can s this arm is on a swivel, swivel, and the wrist is on a ball joint. So, not much posability and articulation here, but like I get said, with like sideburn, very kiddly. There you, there you go. Transformers Universe, Inferno, and Ratchet. I am Windraiser, and I'll catch you next time.